Welcome to the DLR webcast. The walking machine was constructed based on the technologies of the DLR lightweight arms. From the hip to the knee, we were able to directly employ the modules of the DLR arms. The goal was to set up, in the shortest possible time, a two-legged walking machine as an experimental platform that would give us the possibility to test bipedal walking and gait stabilization algorithms. Since we used the well-established drive technology of the DLR arms as a basis, the development of the whole system was possible within a short time of only 10 months. The special feature of our walking machine is the use of integrated joint torque sensors. As we have learned from our previous research experience on manipulation, these sensors allow the implementation of highly sensitive torque and impedance control. Usually, state-of-the-art bipedal walking robots are built as very stiff systems. In our walking machine, just like in the DLR arms, we have included torque sensors. We explicitly want to use this technology for generating bipedal walking algorithms, which incorporate a compliant behavior at the impact when the foot touches the ground. You see here how a human commands a robot in an interactive way. The robot reacts to simple gestures, which is a very intuitive way to command the robot, probably much easier than using a joystick, space mouse or similar input device. This works with a hidden Markov-based gesture recognition. The output of the gesture recognition then provides the command to the robot. The command initiates a motion primitive, like, for example, a step forward, left or right. For now, this is primarily a research project that allows us to learn how technical walking works. The future application of this research is, of course, the locomotion of humanoid robots. One can imagine that a service robot used in the household, for example, will need to be able to move freely in the house. Therefore, the robot will have to be able to step over small obstacles to climb up and down stairs and so on. The construction of complete humanoid robots, which could carry out versatile tasks in the household, is a big challenge for robotic research and definitely includes bike locomotion as one of its core problems. Thank you. This was a DLR webcast.